right super early start and it's very cold at the moment it's one degree celsius but that doesn't mean i'm not excited we are en route to one of my favorite golf courses st anne's old links this is episode number two of break 75 really cool guest i'm playing with as well today because he's the head professional at st anne's old links he's called dan webster been there 29 years we did a podcast with him recently if you want to listen to that go and check out on on the podcast i'll put the links down in below uh, but like i say beautiful golf course established in 1901 so it's got some real history about it it's definitely a demanding golf course and always in amazing condition anyway we're only like five minutes away excited about this one episode number two of break 75. okay so we're here st anne's old links look at this really traditional clubhouse and this is the course out in front of us here you can actually if you see that in the distance you've got blackpool tower let's hope the golf isn't quite as uh, up and down as that roller coaster today <laughs> need to start strong that's my game plan so we're off it's early in the morning we have the whites so it's 6600 yards past 72. got the same setup as last time but i've made two changes I've gone eight degrees. I've gone weight more in the toe to stop that ball going left. So that's the winning formula. Level through one. Terrible putt. Ah. It's a tough pin that downwind. Now this is proper Lynx golf. Three holes in and it's very different to Parkland golf that I've been used to at the moment. Everything's much firmer, the ground's much firmer, you've got to, you've got to judge the bounce. And very similar to Lynx, or very light Lynx, you get these pot bunkers as well which me and Dan have found here on the third. Played that beautifully. What a golf shot, eh? Wow. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Go for that one. Four over. Damn. That's a great ball. into wind like normally i'd be in probably a very easy nine iron it's not a pitching wedge it changes your perception so much playing lynx golf in wind i feel like this is a really important one <laughs> settle the ship cannot get it in the hole Can't find a break. I mean, this wasn't a great tee shot, but then I found it in one of these bushes. Oh! <laughs> ow! This is <laughs> it's a prickly bush. Oh my goodness. Ow, 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 ow. Why'd you do this to, to yourself? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's just a penalty drop, for God's sake. Wow, Lynx is tough. Golf is bloody tough. Right, I'm going to have to drop it for me, yeah? So I'll get a good live. Ah, oh, get down. I cannot catch a break. I have to play it this way. <laughs> for God's sake. The 
wind's going against me as well. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I give up. I literally give up. I hit there. For goodness sake. I literally can't find it. <laughs> Welcome to golf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not get it in the hole. <laughs> oh man. Uh, summary after eight and a half holes. Um, it's tough. <laughs> I might I might be struggling to break 75 today. I'm just gonna put that out there. I might be struggling to break 85. Uh, but hopefully I can settle it, get some good scores on the back nine. So at the moment I've got a, I've got to go pretty good for the back nine. But either way, it's one of those things, uh, you know, certainly links golf, the way it's set up, the wind, the conditions, my lack of experience in most kind of recent years playing links golf is definitely being highlighted. And it definitely reminds me why I'm not doing open qualifying, that's for sure. <laughs> Back to back pars, let's get let's get a graphic up here, back to back pars. Yeah, you put in. Three pars in a row graphic. In fact, I've not knocked it in yet, Dan. <laughs> That is incredibly disappointing after a good drive. But in hindsight, I left myself with a yardage I don't really like. But I should be better from that range. <laughs> oh, hello. This is what you've come for. Envision that like, like a proper tour pro. I envision this like little little low drawery, just like all over the flag, and then belt it. Ah, 
ました。<laughs> the par train continues on the back nine. It's not been pretty, but somehow they keep going in. Last two holes, two par fives. Yeah, two birdies would be nice. Stop turning. <laughs> get that, get that birdie sauce coming out the hole. <laughs> okay, last hole. I'm here in two and uh, par five. So outside eagle opportunity but I will definitely take a two foot from here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Save the best till last. <laughs> Thanks Dad. Appreciate that buddy. That was fast. <laughs> Good fun. I didn't break uh, I didn't break 75 today. That is the epitome of two halves. Front nine embarrassingly 48 shots. 12 over par. Yeah. But you know what though, you hit the ball well. <laughs> this is this it? is weird. You hit the ball very solid. <laughs> I just found a few little issue areas and didn't resolve them. Bat nine, shot 34. Brilliant. Two under. <laughs> so overall 82. Um, it's one of those rounds where literally I hit it well yeah. and just scored horrendously. You, you look like you, cha you did change your mindset a bit on the back nine, almost as though, well, that's done. Back nine's gone, let's go again. Yeah. Well, the front nine's gone, let's go again. And also, you did seem to try and play a bit more how the course would need to be played rather than just playing Back how golf. you normally play golf. So, episode number two, didn't break 75. It was surprise, surprise. Um, I think there's two things I learned from today. One, I need to adapt my technique a little bit to different courses. That's something I overlooked enormously. Two, both rounds so far, episode one, episode two, I've got off to really bad starts. Front nine, over two, the two rounds, I'm 18 over par. Back nine, I'm two under par overall. So I need to get off better. So next round, episode three coming next week, I endeavor to start much stronger. Thanks, Dan. The golf course was amazing. And uh, episode number two, done. Well done. Ha, ha, ha.